What's up? Welcome back to another video. Oh, I just got guns on the back and not me even getting them, but um, we have to go talk to this dude over here. AC. I don't know what that stands for. Oh. A wood factory. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost-efficient. <sighs> Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. That nice. easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert <laughs> Cakes, Esquire, at your service. It's Marston. You boys give me a minute. He called me Martin. Mr. <sighs> Martin. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Uh-oh. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. What he said. Alrighty. I know the quickest way. Follow me. This house is going to turn out nice. You just wait. <laughs> After this, I feel like I'm going to go talk to Hamish. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually a good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? All right. I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravan. <laughs> Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber yeah, sees some so. strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What was that you were saying? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof. Putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. 
I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. No, but like I was saying, um... Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? I'm just like Neil, the finish speaking first. He's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk to Hamish. Because I think it's the last mission, and now we finally should begin this course. Just I was told by a friend. They already sure got the horse before, so... Is the spot. Just so there's up only ahead. four missions, and we did the okay. third one in the last episode with the Arabian, so... You boy here. After you, Mr. Milton. Let's go talk to this little dude over here. I forgot his name. Was it Neil? Yeah, Neil. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you this got any mail? looks like he'll give us some good tools. Uh, so. okay. Yeah, he has a lot of tools in his wrap. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Whew. Okay. <laughs> For some All reason, right, I then. actually like short hair, John Marston. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Well, in the shooting. <gasps> oh no. Everyone find some cover. I knew I was like, what are those little things flying? They're bullets. No. You okay? Yes. That the last of them? I think so. There's Look! More. They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! Alright, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on! Oh, wow.
I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. F <gasps> All right. Oh, no. Shit. Dude, and I was just liking that character, too. Jesus. We gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. I need to at least have a gun out, please. I'm asking to get shot at then. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew exactly. what he was getting into. He Did just he? helped me buy the tools and everything. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. And he was just saying how he, like, wow, he had a family. Oh, Carl, what are we gonna tell his family? You alright carrying him? I got it. No use in you getting bloody too. Is he? That's sad, bro. Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. <sighs> Nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them. Uh -huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. These tools right on this wagon. All right, let's get out of here. For sure. What they do to Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Come on, Charles. We gotta get out of here. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. Like he said he I had told two you I was little worried. kids and a wife. He too. puts his gun up when he gets home. Kind of land of my oh, man, I it's know they're going to be sad, too. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. Uncle! 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 You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town and we'll pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we've scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. You say so. Wow, bro. Whew. And John, I love you. Aww. Don't you forget that. He's thinking about Abigail. Can I 
I speak with Hamish yet? So that's uncle right there. Let's see, hold on. Hamish Sinclair, okay, nice. What's this mission about? Okay. But Hamish Sinclair, alright. Let's go talk to Hamish, see if we can get his horse and stuff. Hopefully he's like, maybe, hey yeah, man, I don't need again. the horse no more, I'm getting old, I buy me a new horse. Hopefully he's like that, or he just says, he's just not going to need the horse no more. Alrighty, Hamish. Hamish! John, come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. It's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Yeah, I guess. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <laughs> I do. I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. He hanged up all the stuff that we caught. That's it, cool. As long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's this? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the <gasps> size of that boar. Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Stop there. Ain't no way this thing is still alive. Just ate all them bullets. That boy just ate yeah. all them bullets, bro. Ate 14 bullets total. I gotta hide like cast iron. Shit. Clean the gun first, so dirty. All right, Hamish, here I come. It's as big as a buffalo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we'll get it. Came through here, all right. That dude ate 14 Shit. bullets. He's been across here twice. What do we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Pia! Come on, you! Alright. Easy now. There we go. Something over here. What's that? Man, this is a definitely huge boar to be killing a wolf, so. Man, it's gotta be tough. Gorn wolves, too. 
<gasps> oh no. He found him. Oh, pig, you already know it's your time. Wait, what? Shit. He's after him. No, 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 no. No, he won't die. Why did it stop shooting? Hamish? Hamish! Hamish? There's Beal. Hey, oh no! Ah. No! No! Hey, Hamish! <laughs> I got thrown and a bastard hog got me. No! I take Beal for me. <gasps> He's a good horse. He may be Dude. stubborn. Ah. <laughs> but he's strong. Oh no. doing for the rest of this video I want to take his hat take all this first and let me take his hat where did Beal go Beal okay give me the hat yes we shall represent Hamish and take Beal Come on, Buell. Let's go. Man. Can you believe that, bro? Over here. Hamish died. No. Oh, and you know what? Yeah. We knew it. In the end, Hamish did care for his horse, Buell. Because his last words were, Take Buell. Now, if that does not stand for, like, this man Let's loves ride. his horse... This man loved his horse. Even though if it was stubborn. Dang. I wish we could, like, take him back to his cabin and stuff. Alright, well, Buell's our new that? horse. Let's take this off and put it on Buell. Alright, Buell. You're gonna go on crazy adventures with us. Dang, guys. R.I.P. in chat for Hamish. We're gonna talk to him one more time. We miss you, Hamish. And we killed the boar. That's your reward. Alright, let's go head dongle. Alright, Bill. <laughs> I'm at Buell. This is your new hey, home. Yeah, well, in progress home. Let's go talk with Uncle. Let's see what he wants. 
What do you want, Uncle? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, That's it's what you always do. I'm not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Oh my god, the music. that day we build the house look at uncle literally sleeping in the back this ain't fair uncle you need to be helping us Finally. And I think that's everything. 
John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, Aww. I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Yeah. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. Now we need is just friends. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. That I is true. to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Two days later. All righty. Look at that. Wow. Uncle. I thought you was... Where the hell? <laughs> Alright, um... It's the end of this video. I know I've been doing short videos recently. But it's only because... We're coming to an end here, you know? Of the game. An end point. So I want to save a little bit more before we actually end the series off start moving forward into the new GTA trilogy horror games and other stuff so trying to enjoy the time of this game of what we got left so I'll see y'all tomorrow for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2